Classic Hits, My 105.9. Hey, how's it going? It's Willie Tyler, and we uh, have a special guest on the phone, Kyle Hollingsworth, the uh, multi-instrumentalist from the String Cheese Incident. Good morning, Kyle. Good morning, good morning. Great to hear from you. Yes, I'm excited. We're heading up your way. Yeah, the String Cheese Incident uh, headlining Magic City Blues, the party of the summer here, Friday, August 4th. Great to talk to you. Uh, you are the the piano player, but I know you also play a lot of other instruments, correct? Yeah, I mean, I'm mainly piano. Anything that has keys is good, like uh-huh. accordion or. Although I've been, I I wrote the newest uh, uh, single, actually, the new string cheese single. I wrote that on ukulele. It's oh, nice yeah. sometimes to play an instrument that you don't really know how to play, <laughs> <laughs> because then you 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 discover things like, oh, this is a really cool way to put through chord progression. So it's, it's been nice. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say multi-instrumentalist. Well, say, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I went down a little YouTube <laughs> rabbit hole last night, and I, I saw a video of them interviewing you uh, about your about your equipment, about your... You, yeah, the gear rundown. The gear, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You got, it's wild stuff. You got a lot going on there. I, it's, yeah, I was just talking about that. I was on a bike ride with a buddy, and 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 I was, we were just discussing how to keep every show exciting. Because, you know, you play a lot of the same songs again and again. But in this case, I feel like for me, having all those different types of keyboards brings inspiration for sure. Yeah, uh, I'll, do, I'll do that solo tonight on this melodica, or I'll do this solo tonight on the synthesizer. So it's just nice to have the different, I would say, um, colors. Yeah, in mix, the palette, mix it up a little. Well, you guys went from being a, a, a just kind of a small band. You guys are out of Colorado, Boulder, roughly, right? Yes, Boulder, Colorado, correct. Started doing uh, local ski resorts and now one of the biggest jam bands in the entire world. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but that's nice for you to say thank you. <laughs> no, I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure about that. Uh, you guys are headlining two big festivals in August. Not only our Magic City Blues Friday, August 4th, but then you're heading over to Washington for a couple nights for the Revolution Music and Camping Festival over there. Um, what's your favorite festival to do? Because you guys are, have become kind of a, the festival band now. So um, we put on a couple of festivals. We do a festival called Electric Forest. We're kind of the host of this festival in the Midwest mm-hmm. uh, by uh, Grand Rapids. Uh, that's really fun because we bring a lot of the art and culture together. It's it's almost like a Bernie Man type thing in the forest. It's very EDM based. It's very cool. electronic. We're we're one of the few bands that actually plays instruments. Um, but we bring it there, and then we bring like our hammocks and we decorate the forest and make it like a really great experience for all our fans so that's what probably one of my favorites awesome out there i'm playing we just played red rocks red rocks is fun too of course yeah and you guys are close by you don't have to go very far exactly that's just down the street <laughs> we, we just we just hit 51 51 times of playing uh red oh, rocks which is great that's, that's awesome We're, widespread has one more than us widespread has more than us so we're, we're in second place from the most played there oh cool very cool i i i, I know you have dedicated fans because i have so many friends that are, are string cheese incident fans that uh they'll track you guys down wherever you're playing yes and and that's part of the experience every show is a different incident to some degree so uh you never want to miss a show so i think a lot of people coming out to enjoy uh the experience yeah and, and the variety I don't think you've ever played Billings before. I'm wondering, early Montana days. Well, you did play. Um, you did play Bozeman a lot because when I was in college, you guys were playing like the Cat's Paw over in Bozeman. Cat's and, Paw, right? Oh, totally, Cat's Paw. I remember that so much. We used to drive our own uh, bus. We had this old ski bus from Crest Butte, Colorado, and we would drive from Colorado up, up to play the Cat's Paw. Yeah, and back that in- was. That was early days you back in the late 90s and then yeah and then you started moving up and then you were playing the brick breeding field house eventually and some of the bigger uh venues over there but no i'm pretty sure this is the first time you've ever been to billings so i know that people here are excited Wait. i'm excited oh well, let's talk about the name because that's you have an obviously interesting band name the string cheese incident what was the uh incident <laughs> i can never t- I'm, I'm the new guy still i've been in the band for 20 25 years and they said when I've been in the band for 33 years, they would tell me what the name is. <laughs> okay, so you still so don't I, You and I, I have no idea. We can kind of guess, but I'm just waiting for the you know, three more years. It's actually our 30th year as a band. I can't believe it. It's I can't so believe it. Yeah, that's wild. I, I just found out just this morning that you guys were at Woodstock 99? 
<laughs> yes, did you guys all watch the Netflix special? That's exactly yes. what it was like. We were there the first day, um, and it was just, we were so psyched we got in and out of there quickly, because it was like people like, having girls on top, of, on top of their shoulders and like it was like people were just being it's like one giant frat party just, just and it like felt it really up. scary and not safe and we got the heck out of there and then three days later it was burning down right right yeah you just just missed all the fun huh <laughs> yeah I got the fun that's what it was yes I missed <laughs> all that you guys have a new album coming out this year we do uh, we have a brand new album called Lend Me a Hand uh, it's probably going to hit in September Mm-hmm. We have one song out already, and then we have uh, the new radio single, um, One More Time, is probably hitting your area probably in the next week or two. And then the whole thing drops. And it's really fun. We, we worked with Brad Cook. He's, a, he's worked with uh, Bon Iver and some other artists. Oh, cool. And so it was nice to have a little bit more of a, how do I say it? it was more singer-songwriter based a little less jam oriented. Every time he wanted to add a solo or something, he's like, nope, that's not happening. <laughs> we, we, we just cut right to what's important. Let's just get to, uh, it's all about the voice, the lyrics, and the songwriting. And so it was nice. It was almost like our version of a Reckoning or one of those early Grateful Dead albums. It was kind of through acoustic, a lot of acoustic mandolins. Cool. So it's going to be great. I mean, they were heading on Willie Nelson tour right after that. So oh. I think it's going to be a perfect matchup. My hero. <laughs> yes, exactly. I Love know the uh, SCI fans are, are excited about the new album because it's the first one in, what, like six years. You guys take a little time in between albums sometimes. <laughs> yes, it isn't for lack of uh, new material. It's usually because we just can't ever get time to do it. <laughs> so it was nice to finally actually carve it out. And, and some, some years we'll just end up playing so many shows that we forget, oh, right, we need to create new music. So we sat down for two months and just wrote. I actually wrote with um, Sam from Iron and Wine. Do you know Iron and Wine, the band? I don't. No, I'm not familiar. Iron and Wine's great, and uh, he's the he's the main singer there. So I wrote the, a couple tunes with him. And it, was, it was awesome. I'm very excited. <laughs> and you're you're not really a band that people are are looking for. Well, I mean, not. I don't want to put it that way, but I think people are more looking forward to seeing you in a show than getting excited about an album, really, right? Because you guys are the, Possibly, the live yeah, band. Everything, everything's going to change, though. You just <laughs> wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, the new album is awesome, and I think people are going to just love to put that on repeat. Awesome. I'm excited to get people to check it out. <laughs> and I, I know you're a beer guy. Yes, so I'm coming up to Billings. What, what should I be doing? What's the local... Hot spot there for oh we've got brews. we've got plenty plenty of uh, of local breweries Uber Brew is going to be a spot you're going to want to check out cool and Uber Brew all right yeah, I'm in. right downtown you have your own beer uh, I've been doing uh, beers with um, I, I'm a, I've been a home brewer since I was like 15 okay <laughs> <The process laughs> which is illegal really really <laughs> yes exactly which is illegal um, but I've been really in involved in the process and the creativity of that throughout the years. So it, over, over the last 10 years, I've made probably, uh, I'm guessing I made 20, maybe 30 different beers with people around the country, national breweries. Cool. Everything from Stone, the Sierra Nevada, local, a lot of local breweries here. And some of them have actually ended up in becoming beers that continue on the shelves. Uh, some, a lot of them are just one-off, but uh, I just love the process. I love the experimentation, just like music in some ways, you know? Sure. Take, yeah. that, take that risk. Well, I'd love to grab a beer with you when you're in town. Uh, Magic City Sweet. Blues, party of the summer, Friday, August 4th. The very first incident in Billings. We're looking forward to it, man. Nice. All right, man. All right. Thank you so much for Kyle talking to me today. Thanks a lot, man. We'll, we'll uh, see you in a, about a week. Yes, see you soon. All right, man. Thanks.